Hello guys, my name is Ismas and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be doing a quick comparison between Cycles and EV, call it a 1v1 between the two render engines to see what is the best. Obviously with a few limitations or a few constraints, especially with time because you know if you give Cycles time it will always beat EV in the quality of the image. So I wanted to put some constraints on that and limit that factor so that I don't use it as a big factor in this comparison. So what I went on to do is I limited the render time of cycles. As you know, you can do that. You can limit how long each frame can take and my limit was one minute for each frame. So each frame rendered for one minute. Just so this could be a fair fight uh, between cycles and EV because if I just let cycles render, it would first of all take too long uh, for this type of thing. This is where 300 and I think 50 frames of render time of rendering so if I just let it render as much as a for as long as it wanted it would take on a lot of time and I didn't want to, to do that but I also wanted this to be a fair fight between cycles and EV so I made that limitation just to make sure that uh, we are working within the same range and I think the results we are great but uh, they are, if you look closely they are a bit noisy but that's something expected with cycles as it's a progressive render engine so it uh, starts with a lot of noise and uh, cleans it up the lengthier the render text the more cleaner the image is going to be but uh, again I didn't want this to drag on for too long and I also wanted to give us uh, EV a fair fight make it a fair fight for EV uh, so I had to put in that, li that limitation of one minute per frame uh, with EV each frame took I think about 10 seconds so it was rendering very fast and you can see the results as you can see side by side here and uh, they don't really uh, you might want one over the other especially for the lights are looking in if i think i like that effect better but in cycles you, you see that uh, the reflections are much crisp and uh, better the glossiness is much is way way better uh, than what our uh, what if we could produce because it's a ray tracing a renderer and uh, it will rend it will reflect the scene the reflections will be uh, reflections of the scene itself while if we will try an approximation of that but we will not get it right uh, unless you do some baking which i didn't do because i tried it and it wasn't making a lot of difference but it was also uh, making the rendering a bit slower without adding more value to the render or making the uh, rendering much better so that's why i decided against the baking of lights and uh, reflections because there wasn't really adding much to it so this is a comparison i don't want to give too much of my opinion on this because i want you to make that decision yourself and decide which one you think is going to uh, was the best as, as you can see the renders are side by side here and uh, i'm also putting the time lapse here just to see uh, the process and uh, the viewport in this render is going to be in cycles uh, as you can tell as you can tell from those crisp reflections by the way the camera models i used are from uh, the transportation add-on which is an amazing add-on and uh, yeah i'll be leaving a link in the description if you want to check it out and more about that later you can see how i animated the car very simple the cars come rigged and i just animated them are very easily there uh, because i limited the render time for cycles to one minute per frame i think it took about 12 hours to render uh, so because uh, the render the number of frames i was rendering were about 300 and 300 and uh, 50 frames so that should be 350 uh, minutes which let me get out my calculator here for 360 minutes divided by 60 that puts us at six hours but i think it was a bit longer than that if you set the limit to one minute per frame uh, it's not going to consider the time it takes to process each frame it doesn't add that to the render time it uh, i think it calculates the start of that minute from when the you start to see the actual image uh, rendering that's why you might see that uh, uh it takes a bit longer to render cycles takes a bit longer uh to render than what you actually set for each frame and uh, yeah like i said I, w I don't want to give too much opinions on this i want you to to make that decision yourself and uh, see what what is the best uh, for this but uh, i think um i'm a little bit biased uh, towards ev because it took way less time i think to render out the entire length of the the timeline while cycles took uh almost eight hours so in that period i would have rendered uh, like 20 or 100 uh 
times this render in EV than in cycles. So and uh, depending on what you're going for, you might prefer one render engine compared to, to the other. Obviously, this cycles is always going to be the better render uh, if you're just going for realism. But uh, if you're trying to render out something very quickly, I think EV takes that uh, because the amount of iterations you can make uh, with EV are just 10 times uh, more than uh, cycles uh, if you trying to preview the animations but uh yeah that's it i think uh thank you for watching you can let me know what you think in the in the comments and uh yeah